Merry Christmas! Hi yogis from the beautiful island of Kopangan where I've spent the last two months of my life. So I've decided to bring a bit of tropical paradise to your homes for this Christmas. It's the time where all of us tend to eat and drink and sleep far too much. So maybe this beautiful scenery will inspire you to get up and do some yoga. We'll try and keep it short and sweet, 20 to 30 minutes, so enjoy it. Let's get started. Let's start by standing tall, feet together, pressing the feet into the ground, engaging the thighs, dropping the tailbone down, belly in, roll the shoulders back and down. Elongate the spine, the neck in line with the spine, chin slightly in. Close your eyes and take a few breaths here. And then let's bring the hands in prayer. And start with some salutations. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, fold, fold. You can bend the knees as much as you have to. Inhale, send the right leg as far back as you can. Exhale, drop the knee down. Long spine here. Chin to the chest. Breathe. Optional to bring the arms up. Engage the thighs, tailbone down. Maybe look up. One more breath. Exhale. Palms either side of the foot, tuck the back toe. Inhale in plank. We'll stay in plank for a few breaths. Tailbone tucked in. Pressing the hands into the floor. Long neck, long spine. Keep breathing. And exhale, knees, chest, chin. On the floor, elbows back. Inhale. Forwards, loop the shoulders back. Doesn't matter how high or low you are, shoulders away from the ears. Press the tops of the feet into the floor. And exhale, tuck the toes, push yourself up, downward facing dog. If you stay for five breaths here, you can start moving, bending the one knee and then the other. And moving forwards and back. Just express your body, do what feels good. It's Christmas after all. And one more. Exhale here. Next inhale, lift the left leg up, flex the foot. And exhale, try to gently with control step between your hands. And exhale, back knee down. Few breaths here, chin to the chest. Optional to lift the arms up. Breathe. Long deep breaths. If you are familiar with Ujjayi, engage it. And exhale. Hands down. Step the back leg forwards. Inhale, hands behind your shins. Exhale, straighten the back and straighten the arms. You can bend the knees. Inhale up. And exhale. Hands in prayer. Other side. Inhale. Bend. Long spine. Look up. Exhale. Fall forward. Have a straight back. You can bend the knees. Touch the floor. Drop the head. Inhale. Send the left leg back. Exhale. Drop the knee down. Inhale, elongate the spine, 
the neck, optional, arms up, breathe, relax the face. Last breath here. And exhale. Tuck the back toe. Inhale, engage the core, come into plank, straighten the body, shoot the heels back, send the heart forward. Breathe. One more. And exhale, knees down, elbows pointing back, chest and chin on the floor. Inhale, cobra. It can be a very small cobra. Engage the back, shoulders away. Or it could be a slightly higher up dog. Chest forward, breathe. Two more breaths here. And exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog, and you can exhale to the mouth, tongue out, lion's breath. Get rid of everything you don't need. Last time. Inhale and bring the right leg up this time. Exhale, step it with control, engaging the core in between your hands. Exhale, drop the back knee. Either stay here or come up. Mm, enjoy the breath. I'm enjoying the breathe. hands forward, step the back leg next to the front leg, inhale, hands behind your shins, exhale, straighten the arms, straighten the back, you can bend the knees, inhale, all the way up. Take a few moments here. Just to notice the breath, the body, and flow of energy. One more time, a little faster. You inhale, hold it up. Exhale, forward fold. Drop the head. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, drop the back knee. Inhale, come up. Exhale, frame the front foot and come into plank. Inhale, elongate the body, heels kicking back. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or maybe you prefer chaturanga. Inhale, fly forward. Loop the shoulders back, cobra, maybe up dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here, send the hips up, press the hands into the floor, chest to the thighs. Inhale, stretch the left leg, exhale, step it forward. Drop the back knee. Inhale up. Exhale. Step the back leg forward. Forward fold. Inhale. Hands behind the shins. Straight back. Exhale. Inhale up. Let's see the other side. 
Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, knee down. Inhale. Exhale down. Straight into plank. Inhale, long, strong body. Exhale, come down whichever way you like. Inhale. Loop the shoulders back. Chest forward. Exhale. Down dog. Continue breathing. And right leg up. Step the foot forward. Drop the back knee. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, frame the front foot. Step the back leg forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, coming up. Close the eyes and breathe. Press the palms against one another. Draw the blades down. Belly in. Notice the effects of the two round sun salutations on the body. Okay, let's go into chair. Feet together, toes together, heels slightly apart. Squat down, arms back and up. Drop the tail down, belly in. Extend the arms. Either look down or up. See what is comfortable for the neck. Sit a little lower. Continue breathing and exhale, prayer. Now, right elbow behind the left knee, press the prayer towards the middle of the heart. Open the left shoulder and square the hips. Twist with every exhale a little more. Extend the spine with every inhale. And then look down, step the left leg back. Might need to readjust the prayer. Keep breathing. And then exhale, frame the front foot. You might grab your blocks or books here. And try to straighten the front leg without rounding the back. The back heel is off the floor. Loop the shoulders back and down. And tuck the chin in. Mm. Keep breathing. Ready for a balance? Let's do it. Bend the front knee, hands a little forward, kick the back leg up. You might want to stay here or experiment. Hands in prayer, body and leg parallel to the floor, or if you're a little braver, maybe stretch the arms. Why not? What have you got to lose? Very nice. One more breath and exhale. Hands down, drop the leg down. Now step it a little forward. Inhale, come up, straighten the spine, maybe use your blocks. 
exhale you're going to leave the right hand where it is and open the left side of the body twist left arm up very nice keep breathing one more and exhale now you're going to step the back leg back a bit and prepare for your triangle I'm going to turn around so you can see me left hand on your left shin start lifting the body with the help of your core opening the right side tuck the tail in and extend the arm breathe you want to um, do some work on your core, arm in front, so do some work on the core, don't support the hand on the shin, breathe, and exhale, then the front knee, support the elbow, and then sink the hips as low as you can, right arm along the body and then sweep the right arm by the side of the face for those of you a bit more adventurous and flexible hand down maybe half bind right arm behind the back hooking into the left thigh or a full bind yeah just two breaths here nice and easy opening the shoulder very good and exhale release Whoa. drop the back knee down and tuck the toes now walk your left foot to the left left knee with the left hand and come onto the outer edge of your left foot open the left shoulder look back for the slightly more adventurous left arm up and bring the back shin in don't forget to breathe here Bring the hips back, bring the left heel in the middle, extend the spine, you can use your blocks here, maybe slightly micro bend the knee if you're rounding the back too much. Keep breathing. Maybe you wish to try a little deeper pull. This is all optional. Put splits within your practice. Go ahead. Enjoy it. One more breath. And tuck the back toe. Press the hands into the ground. And come up. If you can. With grace. Let's meet in down dog. Take a couple more breaths. We're almost there. We just need to do the other side. And slowly walk. Tiny little steps towards the front of your mat. Feet hip distance apart. Grab the opposite elbows. Bend the knees as much as you need to in order to rest the chest on your thighs. And stay here. 
working into the backs of the legs. Never forget the breath. Keep checking in. Equal inhales and exhales. Equal length of inhalations and exhalations. And then slowly release the arms. Bring the feet together. Toes together, heels apart. Squat. Bring the arms all the way. Tuck the tail. Engage the core. Sit a little lower. Keep down or up. One more. Arms in prayer. Just on the other side. Left elbow behind the right knee. Press the palms. Open the top shoulder. Maybe try and look behind the shoulder. Square your hips to the front of the mat. Barely engaged. One more breath. Exhale, look down. And step the left leg back. You can help yourself a little, pushing the knee in. We're going into slightly deeper twist. If that's too much, drop the back knee down. Breathe. And exhale. Lift the back heel off the floor. You can bend the front knee, grab your blocks or books so that you're a little higher. Straighten the back. Tuck the chin in. Breathe. One more here. And then let's walk the hands forwards. Bring the back knee up, bring the back leg up, maybe stay here, or do what you did on the other side. As yogis we want to be balanced, so left and right should be the same. And maybe straighten the arms forward if you do it on the other side, final few breaths. Relax the face and breathe. And as well as exhale, drop everything down. Step the back leg a bit forward. Push your right hip back. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, left hand on the floor or maybe on a block. And go into a twist again. Open the right shoulder, right arm. Twists are really good for the digestive system. That's what we all need at Christmas. Good digestion. Long spine, crown to the front, right hip to the back. Just one more breath. And exhale. From here, we're going to step back for our triangle pose. R front, heel and back arch in one line. And again, I'm going to turn so you can see me. Right hand on your shin. Open the body. Left shoulder, left arm. Tuck the hips under. Engage your core and maybe try not supporting yourself on the shin. One more breath and exhale. Bend the front knee, support the elbow, 
left arm by the side of the body. Drop the hips down. Knees over the ankle. And then sweep the left arm open the shoulder. Remember if you drop down on the other side or did the half bind or the full bind, do it here as well. Smile. And exhale, release. Oh. Frame the front foot, drop the back knee down, and walk the right foot a bit to the right. Left hand on the mat, push the right knee out, and come onto the outer edge of the right foot. Open the right shoulder, and maybe do the variation if you did it on the other side. Opening up the left quad. One more breath. And release. And then from here, you're going to shift the hips back. Bring your right heel in the middle. Inhale, extend the spine, tuck the chin in. Maybe my micro bend the knee. Maybe micro bend the knee. This will help you to keep the back straight. Use your blocks under your hands. And if you tried it on the other side, go for whatever version of splits you can and you stay here for a few breaths you go and do what I'm doing if you're not used to it and then we come out as gracefully as we can tuck the back toe engage the core push the floor and bring the right leg back, down dog. down on the floor, feet together, sit on your heels, stretch the arms forward, drop the forehead on the ground, rest in child pose, you're almost there. Take a moment here to notice your mind, the stories it may tell you. Just notice them and let them go. Come back to your breath. Sit in a comfortable cross-legged position and we'll finish with working into the shoulders. Grab your strap or a scarf, cross the leg, the right leg in front of the left, or place the right heel on top of the left knee right knee 
over the left heel. Let's grab the strap in the right hand and with the left push the arm back. Touch the space between your shoulder blades and then bring the other arm your back, catch the strap. Extend, open the right shoulder, move the elbow back. One more breath on this side. Swap. Either the shin in front of the other shin or on top. This is knee to ankle pose. If this is too much for you, don't attempt it. You don't want to hurt yourself on Christmas Day. Inhale. Open the shoulder. Push the elbow with the opposite hand. Touch the space between your shoulder blades and grab the strap behind you. Walk the fingers up. Make sure both sides of the waist are equally long, so I tend to be crunching one side. Open it, straighten it. deserved break so let's come down in Shavasana allow the body to be completely relaxed open the legs a little wider than the hips and the arms a little away from the body palms facing up you can use a lavender pillow or a towel to put over your eyes release the breath and enjoy your relaxation. Feel free to stay here as long as you wish to. And once you're done, slowly, gently, come out of the pose and continue with your day.
Thanks for making it through for this yoga practice with me and enjoy the holidays. Namaste.